Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to unbox the brand new low profile ice tower case for the Raspberry Pi 4. This case has just been recently released as the updated version of the well known ice tower case. A new version obviously brings new features and that's no different with this case. It has a new, more efficient and slightly quieter fan which once again has some cool RGB lighting. But the most noticeable difference has to be the fact that it's a lot slimmer than its predecessor, eliminating the big and bulky feel while still providing nearly as much power. In this video I'm going to unbox and test out this brand new case. Towards the end I'm also going to check on how great the low profile ice tower manages to cool the pie. But before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now, let's get started. After opening up the packaging, you'll be greeted with a fully illustrated manual. By the way, I forgot to mention that this case is not only available for the Pi 4, but also for the Raspberry Pi 3. Apart from a manual, there's obviously the cooling unit, that we'll take a look at in just a bit. As well as some screws and a pair of brackets. A further new addition to this case is the bottom acrylic plate that you can screw to the bottom of your Pi to make it seem more like an actual case instead of just a bulky cooler. And there's even an included screwdriver. Now that I've unboxed it, it's time to set it up.
As you can see, even though this is the low profile version of the ice tower cooler, it's still a decent bit taller than my current case, which I've unboxed and taken a look at in one of my previous videos. However, you can still lower the ice tower by removing the acrylic base plate. And now it's time for some testing. In order to see how well this low profile ice tower manages to cool the pie, I ran three different tests with no heatsink, with my aluminium geek pie case, and of course the low profile ice tower cooler. A quick side note, my room temperature was approximately 28 degrees celsius. And here are my results. Overall the low profile ice tower case managed to cool the pie perfectly and in my opinion this case slash cooler is definitely worth its money. If you are planning on getting one I leave a link to it in the description below so that you can check it out. But apart from that that will be it for today. I hope I helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.